Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we are going to be starting Sly 2. Um, so if you guys have been watching my channel, we just finished Sly 1. And I promised that we would try to play through 1, 2, 3, and potentially 4. So here we are. We are at the beginning of 2. Um, now just a <clears throat> very quick thing. Actually, I'm pretty sick. I just came back from my honeymoon. And on the plane ride back, I just caught something and... So, I'm actually, just like Cooper, I'm pretty good, um, I think my voice sounds pretty normal, but just for reference, if I cough, if I need some water, I am actually sick, but um, I'm going to try my best to just straight up not show it. Let's go. Breaker Alpha Foxtrot, this is the wizard. Do you read me, sitting duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, I still have the classic two cam thing. And Although, this time they don't let me like move I read the you loud and heads. clear, lizard. Sure no, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain I talk, them in what's your stats? Seconds. Well, I've There's established clockwork. myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire also, I'm the controller, service elevator. So. You could power it up from that I am on PC. Station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Alright, so we gotta go for the lever, and as far as I'm concerned, it's literally the exact same controls. Now, I don't think there is any bottles in this room. So I think we're all good. And, um, for those of you not familiar with Slide All, <clears throat> obviously the first game was pretty linear, and you had set maps. Okay, I, this one I follows that... Ow! like tradition but it um it's very much more open world style the the bottles are actually like in the world and stuff. there's bentley but same exact characters okay, first game, okay. so. Let me at that security computer. yeah so very much a, very much similar to slide one but very very different to slide one too i in my the opinion they made everything bad good and everything that was good they didn't really take away so yeah, at least that's security what system. I remember from Working the game, the so we'll see, gate. um, we'll see if that kind of sticks to what I remember. And then this game, we can actually use Resto, the points for something, which is clear. cool. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Lit. Thanks, Bentley. And we got some guards up in this piece. But funny enough, they... I don't, I don't know if they're deaf or something, but... I was straight up just, like, hit everything, and... I don't think they can... Oh, there's some help. I don't think they can particularly tell. And... Oh, there's Bentley. And a little throwback to game one. Got the Panda King. Ooh, this is. Oh, that was kind of funny. Thank you. You're all doing a great job. I think this was at Miss Voodoo. We got Mugshot and there's Crowley. Okay, cool. All right, let's keep going to where we need to be. What is this? I think this is the map we're gonna go to this game. I don't think that's an old map. I wonder. Oh, okay. There's a little bit of um, maybe spoilers to what's coming up next, but. According to my information, the clockwork parts are being stored up there. Wow. Now convenient. to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, I think they've said rendezvous the like three times just this game already. With guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. Now, why in the world would I bother going on the floor? You need to jump and hit the circle button to yeah. run along ropes. I got you, got my spirit. Here we go. Honestly, I like this beginning level quite a bit. You don't often just see, like, straight up, like, cars and the world around you in Sly games. It's kind of the difference between the one and two, is you don't, in one, you never really got things like this, which is really, really cool. Anyway, we don't have to touch ground here. We just will scare. We gotta scare all the pigeons, the pigeons. 
I could even make this faster by just doing a little bit of jump spiring here. Shrugs. Dude, you think I can open this? I'm to try to kill this man here. Gonna break. Hey yo. And he actually has like more of a part in the game than just a vehicle this time, which is cool too. I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Maria, I kept at a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you the maybe channel some of that this raw game energy into the security gate? Is of course, Murray's is lines are kind of cringy. The Murray. It seems like last game he was just kind of chilling. He seems to be a, like his lines are very weird. This game, they're yeah, I don't know. I still love him, okay. but he's definitely a little cringy compared to Slime Bentley. Even Bentley's pretty cringy. You. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. It's like, what is that? I shall bend it like the truth? Murray. Solid what? work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Blit. See you, Murray. Appreciate you, big dog. That's kind of cool. Again, I love how all the guards are just over there chilling, but like none of them actually look up. I don't get it, Sly. The clockwork part should be here. This is all wrong. We need to pull the plug on this operation right now. Oh, Freeze, Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable. You always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Comnita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts! Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! Now nah, we dip him. Hold Later. Still. Yeah, why would I do something like that? And her pistol is actually sicker this time around. She can actually like shoot. Shake a leg, Murray. It's little, time to go. Give me a little laser dad last game. You can't run forever. And again, I don't think there's any bottles in this one. Yeah, well, so we're good. This is where things get fun. Freeze! We running. I'm surprised Murray and Bentley can keep up. To be honest, that's the one part that's Stop. Like, really. You're telling this me Murray can now run Carmelita? You guys I mean, go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita yeah, warm busy. up the van for you. You're work. all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. I don't, I don't, I don't like jail. I'm cash. It's the po, po We gotta get out of here. We still have those little spot cars. Nah, I'm good. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh, Right? Oh. Okay, never mind. Whoa, where am I going? Alright, come on. Come on, dude. Focus, focus. focus up, focus up. Hey, there's a car. So we get a chase. I'll be there just a minute. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with this one. I'll steal some things here. Let's go ahead and make our way today. Place for the boat, too. I'm still getting chased back there. You can't run forever! Yeah, I can. Okay. Jumping fast so we can get out of here. Coming. Coming. Take him back here, Ringtail. Uh, no. I'll find you, Cooper. I'm sure you will. Carmelita's just as angry as ever.
She's really quite lovely when she's angry. And that Constable Neela, was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. Alright, let's go get the parts back, huh? Let's not let him come back alive. That would be pretty cool. Spooky bird. Alright, here we go. And again, they kept a lot of the classic things like, um... They're still gonna have the title slides, and... We still have technical, like, episodes, you know, like, that was the... Crawley, and... Or, so we still have, like, a map with a villain. Um, but I think it's structured in a really, really nice way. Alright, let's go ahead and start the Black Chateau. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Scary. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumpy music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. All right. <clears throat> but those plans end tonight. Tail feathers, here we go. I wonder what he's doing with those. And the amazing title slide. Actually, I'm not a really big fan of this one. The black chateau and there's like a little spider web. There's not a whole lot of continuity with this one because we're in Paris, I think. Or some something... That title slide doesn't hit as much as some of the other ones do, personally. Yeah, we're in Paris, because that's the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, so I, I don't know. But, um, again, what's really, really different about this game is the main map actually has a lot of substance to it, unlike the number one, which is super cool. So we're always going to have a hideout, and then we can uh, come over here, and we can connect to the thief net. And actually buy upgrades with the coins, unlike last game where, um, I don't think I used the coins. Maybe I didn't look hard enough. I'm not, yeah. Anyway, um, so we can go ahead and get out of here. We're going to go ahead and take Sly and Bentley will kind of show us how to do, like, missions and stuff. I tell you, Bentley, it's going to be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. 
The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your Venacuca. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. So, um, we're gonna go there, but we're gonna go there in a minute. I kinda wanna show you guys some of the things that are super cool. So, once again, the bottles are on the outside of the map now. Yeah. So while we walk around like this area, we'll be able to kind of look around for these. And then press the left analog stick. And we can kind of leave some virtual markers into your feedback. Oh, I'll help you find your way around. Wonder are the controls inverted. Okay, so I quickly just inverted it in the actual emulator itself. And um, hopefully it doesn't screw us up later. Okay, here we go. Um, and we will go to the mission just a second. But what's cool is they added another way of making money. So you can see that there's actually like guards and stuff running around the map. But if we sneak up behind them and press zero, we actually just straight up steal out of their pockets. Whoa. But sometimes um, you're dumb and another guard sees you. And the other difference is in this game, the guards aren't a one hit. They take multiple hits. So you kind of have to batter them for a little while before they do anything. But now I totally failed at my attempt of actually trying to steal something. Anyone else has anything else in their pockets? No water. And they're cool. And we can also just like hide under stuff, which is kind of sick too. Alright. I need to find someone that actually has something on them that's worthwhile. Glanced over. Did I kill everyone? Yeah, this is the bottle that we kind of walked past. Alright, well, I'm going to collect these two bottles. Oh, hey. <laughs> that guy looks like he has something in his pocket. Let's go ahead and make our way up to this bottle and then we'll go to that guy. I'm glad I hit that before I fell because that would have been kind of embarrassing. Come on, man. Somebody's got to have some. Okay, this guy has something nice in his pocket. See? Okay, the worst one. Bronze comb. So, these guys have like extra stuff in their pocket that can be worth a little bit more money. Now, what we just got was like the worst thing that's basically worth nothing. But, you can get really lucky sometimes and get something that's, you know, worth quite a bit. But anyway... We got a few bottles. We'll, we'll, we're definitely not going to try to collect them all at one time. There's really not like a point or anything. Oh, I don't know what I did there, but that was kind of sick. Definitely going to grab that one, though. Come on, what did I just do? What? Oh, I can charge an attack? Now. Okay. That's pretty cool. It, oh, another bottle. Alright, we got half of them already. Now, here's my question. Is that the one I'm supposed to be headed to? I think that is the one I'm supposed to be headed to. Alright. Let's... Yeah, screw it. Let's get started. Sly, I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle <laughs> button to grab yeah, hold. We've done plenty of that Try already. Try climbing but... up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. Cool. Alright, and we need to get to a couple of towers, it seems. Looks like that frogman's coming this way. Okay, this guy's kind of dumb. And again, we're going to try to steal as much money as we can while we're here because we do have upgrades to actually get this time around. Hey, frogman, you got something on you? I don't know where frogman went. Alright. Up we go. I've projected holographic markers near it. 
attractive objects like this satellite dish. When you're near these markers, press the circle button to use the object. Okay. Great, the first one's in position. I've uploaded the this. next waypoint is your lead fast imager. Remember, click the L3 button to locate your next objective. Okay. Cool. But yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, there's okay. So there's two bottles right here. We'll go ahead and grab both of those. I don't have all this. I'm gonna smash that one. Smash that one. Okay. Let's see if there's anything. If there's any loot? I'm gonna take this guy's stuff. Where, where's he going, bud? Okay. I can steal both their stuff to be honest. Oh, no! Alright. Laters. Uh, don't follow me up here. Don't, don't do that. You're gonna regret it. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do this other satellite. I mean, this one's pretty close to our headquarters. Okay. okay. work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head up for the cellar. Okay, let's do that. I do hear the very, very amazing clinking of a bottle. There you are, bud. While we head over there, let's go ahead and give another look see. Pretty beautiful bottles lying around. Point. Okay. <clears throat> Is this where we're supposed to head? Ooh. Oh. Good to see you, little okay. buddy. I guess the Throw. way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought oh, you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back? Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Oh, so is he about to just like, like dash and smash? Or are we trying to do this sneakily? I mean, all right. Fear the what up? Bonk. Bonk. I guess we can just straight up square up. I don't want to feel the damage. Yeah. Trash this game. Hold on, Sly. Let me lower those bars for you. There you go. Thanks, to man. get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Oh. Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. All right, Murray. Is there any cash I can uh, zoink? Nope. All right, let's go. I love these lasers. Sly, in order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. To these do are that, horribly get placed near the tables. table and press the circle button. These flashlight guards are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to are sneak around him. Okay. Oh, let me steal your. Oh, you got no cash on the 
Alright, I'm smashing on the ground. Anything in here? Anything above the ground? A little bit of, a little bit of shmoney in there. <clears throat> yeah, nothing of value. Oh, correction. We zoom in through the vents. In order okay. to shut down those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. Sneak up behind him and press the triangle button to yep. knock him into the air. I kind of already been doing that, bro. I hope I can like sneak on these. Like, it's not gonna like, be any of use to me, but I can do it. Alright, I don't think I can get up there. I think we're gonna come out of there eventually. That sneak attack slam move Ooh. only works on guards who haven't seen you. <laughs> that was dumb. This guy turns his back and then let him what? have it. Okay. I'm, am I dumb? Okay, I can just go right through here in a minute. Yeah, okay, there we go. Got him. That wasn't the brightest. Alright, bud. Watch your back. Okay, can I not get detected by these guys either? If you get in a fight with those rats, the sneak attack won't work. It's purely a stealth move. I just need your comb, bud. I just want your comb. Please don't notice me. I just want his comb. No, I was one away. Oh my god, I actually did it. There we go. <laughs> Bronze watch, okay. Not useful. Nice. Oh, the door again. Alright. Nope. Oh, this piano gave me some money, though. Ah, then. Alright. These guys are cheap. What about these instruments, huh? Hmm, a little bit of money. Ooh, my cough is about to flare up. <clears throat> oh boy. Good thing we're near the end of the episode, huh? Another air vent. Another air vent. Ooh, yes. Okay. Here we go. There's Dimitri. Jackpot! The heart of Dimitri's operation! <clears throat> Head for those windows and take some reconnaissance photos. Oh, we're here just straight up about to take Tap some photos, Tap the R3 huh? button. You know, click the right analog stick to bring up your binocucom. It's already outfitted with a spy cam. Why? <coughs> Use the right analog stick to zoom in and out on photo targets. Okay, Tap take the, the photo, bud. button to take a picture when you've got a good shot. Okay. That's Bonk. our target. Dimitri, professional lounge lizard that was a horrible photo, by the way. Fortune. Okay. Money printer. That generator. generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. <laughs> Please do not blow up the generator. That's probably a good idea, huh? Oh no. I was trying to take a pick. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. Alright, mission done. Alright, so. Oh. Okay, we'll the recon first. photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, 
The sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. Let's do it. Okay, so I think can we go back to the warehouse. Okay, we're gonna end today's episode. I'm gonna go have a coffee fit, and we'll be back for the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.